Hey, how's it going? It's Jim from Corbin Soundy with Ableton Quick Tip number two, Utility Gain. Today I'm going to demonstrate a simple trick with the Utilities Gain feature in your productions. I'm going to work on a project I quickly made in Live 10 using samples from the Chop and Swing pack. This pack's available for Live 10 users and is available from this menu here underneath in places called Packs. It should be either available straight away on the top here or may be available to download from here. So let's have a quick listen to the project I've just made here. Cool, so let's say I'm wanting to fade the beginning of this pad here, up to the point where everything comes in with the main beat. First I'll find the Utilities audio effect, and I'll click and drag and place it onto the pad channel. And you can see that it's been added to the pad's audio effect chain at the bottom of the screen here. Now if I press A, the automation lanes for every track will appear. This is great, because now, if I go to my pad, and click the gain feature, you can see that this automation lane has appeared for the utilities gain. I'll start with where I want the peak of the volume to be, and I'll deal back here at the beginning and drag it down to where I want it to be at the very beginning. To create these circles here to draw in your automation, you simply left click once and it will automatically create a new one. Click on them again, we'll delete them. Let's have a listen to how this sounds now. You can see in real time that the automation is moving with the line. So perfect, exactly what we wanted to see. Wanted it to be very quiet to start with. And then 0 dB, which is the 0 dB on your utilities gain feature here where the loudest I wanted the pad to be. If I want to add a curve to the line, I simply hover near the red line, hold down Alt, and then left click and drag down. You can see that's already had an immediate effect, which is a little bit more subtle really, as it slowly comes in. But we can have another listen again to see how it sounds. Again, you can move this to taste, so if it's a bit quiet at the beginning, you can just bring it up here. Now you can repeat this exact same process that we've done with the utilities gain on the track's volume fader, which can be seen in this little blue area here, or it can be seen as this big fader on your channel. Let's see how that looks like if I do the automation for the track volume on the beat. You can see that it says mixer and track volume, which means that we are on the track volume for the beat. And if I pencil in automation, just like we've done for our utility at the top, and play, you can hear it slowly coming up, which is exactly what we want, and is what the utility is doing as well. The only problem is that if we wanted to bring down the beat at the highest point of it, and we move this down, suddenly the automation is disabled immediately. We can hear that it's also disabled if I start playing little bit before the beat and notice that it doesn't fade up anymore. To re-enable it I will have to click this re-enable automation button which appears at the top here in orange whenever you do choose to move a fader or maybe another part of your track uh, audio effect which has automation and there it snaps back but we still won't be able to move the volume again unless we wanted to move the very top of this automation line. 
if you have lots of different points in your automation, this can be a real problem. This is why I've recommended always using the utility gain for this purpose. You can bring the volume of your track down and still keep the automation that you like, whether it be fades or individual little areas that you wanted to just peek out for a particular reason. Say if you're halfway through a project and you've already started creating big fades and various points on this automation line for your track volume and find that the track is too loud, you can add a utility to the track that you've made. I drag that onto the beat. I'll click the gain feature on the utility and click plus. We've now separated the utility gain and the track volume has now been separated as well in the automation lanes underneath here. I can go ahead and copy the automation once it's highlighted blue, hold down command C, start at the beginning and paste command V. The exact movements that we made with our track volume are now on the utility gain. And I can go ahead and delete the track volume automation we've made by right clicking on the track and clicking delete automation. Now if I close the mixer track volume and I close this utilities gain, I can now find my utilities gain automation in the exact way that it was made on the track volume. And now if we go to play this, you can see once again the gain is moving up. And no matter where we move our overall mixer track volume for the beat, that same fade and everything else that we've done on the automation for the utility gain will be there. And that's it. If you liked today's video, be sure to click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to know when our next video drops. Thanks for watching. See you soon.